It was a championship rematch that started the season off. The Hustlers against the Honky Tonk Heartbreakers. The Hustlers certainly wanted to dance their way into the win column, but the Honky Tonks had been training hard in the offseason. Even the Jammers were taking out Jammers. The normally impressive Dynamite was as effective as a wet firecracker. In the end, the heartbreakers were too hot to handle. Game two. The Hell Marys hadn't had their prayers answered last year. Would they get it an A on the Derby report card? They started off well enough, and it looked as if they'd give the chance to run for the Golden Skate. fans knew that trouble was on the way. As the heartbreakers took knee jam after knee jam. Even the newest of jammers, Crazy Dude, took the lead. After Sparkle Plenty was paralyzed, it seemed as though the Hell Marys had received some divine intervention. The Heartbreakers defense was more than they could have to deal with. With Jen and Totting in the pivot slot. And Trouble also leading the way with a double trouble block. First time Jen or Derringer was also penalized caused Betty Rage to throw block and miss tackle. Unfortunately, the Hill Marys cleaned Betty's block instead of cleaning up on the points. It was an all-out school ball melee. Betty Rage was then ejected from the game. The Hell Marys tried again, but Crazy Duke was the first to get up and get on with the game. It looked like it was the Hot Rod Runnies that were going to end the unbeaten run. The match
matchups were deadly. The game started out a draw. And falls came in early and hard. The hot rods were definitely magical, jam for jam. And then Sparkle was taken down, and two players were ejected from the game. You can see from the fans' perspective, they were crying over the spell goal. It was enough to spur the hobbies into high gear. Benny Rage, Mr. Olu, and Buckshot. The Hot Rods tried to let the cat out of the bag, but it was too late, and the fighting continued. But in the end, trouble just kissed the hot rod season goodbye. The Hustlers were back for more in Game 4, starting the fighting off on the first jam. Matchups were key and intense. Whips were a key part of the honky tonk strategy against the hustlers. Betty Rage providing a good one. Gin and Tonic. Slip kick against proved that she had not lost her jamming skills. Even the two rookies got in their shots. Way to go, Six Shooter and Bell Star. Starting with a killer intro and a psychotic chant. Game five was a foreshadow of the championship to come. Early on, Sparkle Plenty takes out their jammer. Slim Kickin's doing her part. But the hot rods had been tooting up. And midway through the half, the honky tonks were falling flat.
cat had something else to let out of the bag, which she found Bell Star. Catastrophe was ejected from the hat. They continued to try and manhandle the heartbreakers, but they had had enough. And with a renewed spirit, they took the wind out of the hot rods. Dagger Dev driving the last nail in their coffin. Game six was a day out of the trailer park for the ladies. Yeah. 